All right, I'm making a quick video because we end up seeing this here. You should be able to see this on the screen pretty good here. And I'll go ahead just a little bit. So looking for what we're going to want to see. We're going to be looking for Electra, Atlas, Jupiter, Aldebaran. And as you'll see, we get that there. So we got to find out what is coming up just before Jupiter. And Venus does it. I think it's Venus and Saturn is going to give us a pretty good show later on in the video. As you see, we'll get this here. Basically, we got a star rising. Because it has all the signature of the sun. Of a sun. Of a star. So it does that to us. And this is up in the evening time. Okay, This is just after dark. Let me start the video for you. This is over at the Hawaii French webcam at their telescope. As you see, we just went to dark. Or going away. You can see the remnants, they go away. You can see the remnants up there that high. Okay, That's all the stuff that's between us and the sun. Okay, You see all the remnants, now they go away because it's dark out. Okay, and Then you'll get this star here that comes up. And it's not in Cab Minkar. Or, I don't know if I said it wrong, but that's not what it is. Okay, So it's that there. We really don't get anything. So we're going to be looking at what is ahead of Alderbaran up here to the right okay that's what we're going to be looking for we're going to go ahead and go to stellarium stellarium is pretty good for finding this stuff okay so we'll see what we got going on because we get that right there as you see you can tell that that's a halo that is putting off some object that's huge okay because uh, it's only going to put off what a shadow of something that the size of it is in space. We've already known that for a fact. That's a thousand percent fact that it'll only put a shadow off what the size of something is. It's not like making a shadow on Earth's surface or at night with a light or during the deep in the daytime. We get a little bit more of that folding away. Well, see that folding away and then that big image there. Alright. So the meatball is coming back, folks. And we get the and check out this halo we get of all this down here too. Watch this. Okay. See that you get? And this is at nighttime. Okay. And I doubt that that's the moon. We'll see. Okay, it's the 24th of the recording, okay, but then we'll pump this up, and we're going to see Uranus more than likely. But what's really weird about it all is the moon reflecting that much light. See, now the sun's already went down. Now, this is the 25th, it's the day ahead, okay, so I'm going to back it up, okay. But the only thing I'm figuring around the same time, and see, it doesn't change that many hours, and, it, and we'll, we'll see it here in a second as I back it up to the 24th, okay. And then I'll hit it on the 24th, it goes down the sun. I think, because I think we're going backwards, yeah. Okay. And then we got the 24th, and we're at the 22, and see, it's not the moon, well, is the moon reflecting that doggone much light up on Uranus? Because we're at the 22, 23 hour, and this is Hawaii time, because basically we're at the location, as you see over here in Hawaii. And we'll back it up to the 1800 hour, and there we're 16. And all this stuff's out there, and basically, what do I need to do? Mark my out. There you go. So here's your constellations. And we'll speed it up a little bit here to, I mean, that went too fast. But even with going fast, there's not that much in the way, because we're already up to the 2200 hour, and the moon isn't even up yet. I mean, the moon, when we get down to the 1800, the moon isn't there yet. We're going backwards here. Okay, and basically, like I was saying, we're going to end up seeing, okay, that we're basically you now, we want to hit play. And I got it in infrared, so I have it actually darker than what it was there. 
Uh, I can change that furnace here. This will give you the day. Uh, let me get, I guess it's a different angle. Uh, I've got to set it that. There's daylight. Okay. But what is. Because see, the sun's not around at 17.28, going down in the west. We want to see in the east. So, basically, we got to go ahead and put... Okay, we the ground type. Boom, boom, boom. So we'll have a ground view. And we'll put the... Infrared on, and we're at 1734, 100 hours. Okay, and it's already on the 25th, so I screwed up on something there. But let's go, let's go back real fast. Boom, go back to the 24th. We're going back in time. There it goes the sun down in the east because basic comes up in the east. Okay. So that you know we're in the east, the sun was down, I put the sun down, and there's the moon coming up at around 2026. Okay. And we're going to back it up. We're basically backing up to the 1800. And what do we got for 1800? Matter of fact, I'll stop it. 1739. And we got 1844 we're looking at. And there's what we get there. And we see Jupiter, Alderbaran. So we're going to see, as you see, that's the sun and the supergiants goes away and we've got dark. And then you got Mencab, Mencar, Alderbaran out towards Electra. And I didn't mean to do that. I bumped. So here we are at the infrared setting, and I can go ahead and I think and I can get us there but we'll stay on the infrared because what is showing up in the sky at 1844 okay and we can even look around the sky here as the clock runs now on the 25th I can see that the idea that we're seeing Uranus you see, the sun's off into the west. And we're on the ground here. The sun's going down in the west. And there's our 1844. So we want to stop right around here. I actually back up a little bit. But as you can see, we'll look around the sky. And what the heck is making it so bright and making an impression in the sky at 1844? As you can see, we got that there and everything and then we're going to be able to hit play I'll hit play and we'll speed it up pretty good 1900 hour see that doesn't show up till 1900 hour moon the moon doesn't show up till 1900 hour and it's only that high and we're at our high altitude so as we go here 2004 okay it still doesn't explain from what we're seeing in the sky all our remnants go away and then we get that men cab men car all the nerd okay and then you get this to go away so what the heck is it and that's at the 1915 hour. 1939. Okay. So we got this at 19, the 1800 high hour of what the heck time we got on the clock. 1824, 84, 1820, you'd say. Okay, and we see all this here. To the 19. 2012. Okay? 2012. And then we get Bellatrice and everything like that. 
So Alderbaran and Jupiter go away at 2020, at least. Okay? So we put that back there. There goes Alderbaran and Jupiter. Okay? And we're looking for what's back at our 1844 out. That, that there. Okay? And then it also does this down here also. And it's huge. That's huge. Okay? And this here. So what the hell is it? Because Jupiter's the only thing huge that we know that's supposed to be around here. And where the heck's it getting light from? Because the sun's down in the west. Okay? And we're getting all that action right there. That's huge. Okay? And it's also got 3D, so you know it's a star. You see that 3D effect? You know it's a star. And it's not the moon. Okay? Because that's not the moon at 18, 19. And there's that halo effect that it puts off. 1950. The, the moon don't come up until... And there's Jupiter, the biggest thing we know in Aldebaran. So let's go back down again. There we are. The 24th. And you'll be able to see the date back there. It's the 24th. So I know I got the 25th year, but... That's the 24th. The 24th. You see? And that's Hawaii Standard Time. Okay? So this is all matching. Okay? So we hit play. And it's been playing. And the moon is not up until 2007. It starts coming up low. Okay? So what was back 1824? That's the most important thing. But now I went crazy on the dates again. I gotta get that lined up. Hang on. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this play because basically we wanna see the 25th, see Uranus. Because this is the hour and the time we're up here at 1820 something. And the moon comes up at 2103. Taurus, Jupiter is behind it. The only thing that's supposed to be big. Okay, and I can even put our constellations up here real fast. I can do that with that there and I can back us up a little bit and uh, just give me a constellation art we back up a little bit to 1800 on the 25th, the 2300 hour, and we'll put it back on the 24th again. So you're getting a dramatic look at Uranus, somehow light deflection, light curvature right now off of Jupiter and other objects around by Uranus, because that's Uranus right there. They're not showing it on the deal, but that you're getting a good look at Uranus right now over there, that telescope. Back this up a little bit. Okay, the moon goes down. So you're getting Uranus that's coming up over there. In the east, 1800 hour. I'm going to pick up the clock a little bit. And as that comes up, that's what you're getting. Along with the moon. And I'm getting some real wild action here right now. That is a wild, dramatic that we're getting over there and now the program's going crazy but anyway that's what we're getting we're getting Uranus okay here's what Venus is putting off with Saturn check that out as it goes up so we're getting Uranus at the back door ladies and gentlemen that's Venus and Saturn giving you a show there okay and we're getting the blinking of the Sun again okay and you were getting Uranus at the back door in the dark in the dark ladies and gentlemen we're getting Uranus Uranus is being seen up here with light from I don't know what the hell is lighting up Uranus because that's what it is. Something's reflecting off the moon and giving us a great shot, a great view of Uranus. Okay? Well, there's something out there putting a lot of light off. Something's doing something. Because you're seeing Uranus. It's getting illuminated somehow. Uh, 